Daniel Hunter injured himself going over the wall. Into the Red Sox bullpen. He appears to be all right. Boy, that was a nasty spill over the wall. Looks like he had blood on the back of his head. What did you say, Parker? David Ortiz had never homered against Joaquin Benoit until now. Fastball. He's been as clutch, maybe more clutch than any hitter in the game in October since he came to the Red Sox. Hitter, another bat's got to be added. The 2 1 on the way and a high fly to right field. Hayward driven back, still backing up, all the way to the wall. Can't get it, and it's into the bullpen. Man, did that carry. And Ben Attendee has tied the game. Well, you thought for a split second, Hayward, who's a gold glover, might have a shot to make a sensational catch, but he couldn't get to it. Well, last night's eighth inning win for the Red Sox stirred up memories of this in the eighth inning of the American League Championship Series in 2013, the big poppy grand slam, and a famous man made in Steve Horgan, who still is the officer out in the bullpen at Fenway and stands by with our J.P. Morosi. Thank you, Joe. And Officer Horgan, last night's game, Mitch Moreland's home run, a high arcing ball into the bullpen just outside the reach of a Tigers right fielder. What did that remind you of? Just reminded me of Torrey Hunter in the same uh, trajectory. It was coming right in the bullpen. I can't help myself. I got excited, especially home runs in the bullpen. <laughs> Officer Horgan, how often are you reminded of that home run by Big Poppy? Uh, almost every game. If everyone wants a picture or mentions it or they were at the game. What is the coolest request that's come your way in your life because of that night? <laughs> that's been a lot of requests. Riding on the duck boat with uh, Mr. John Henry and his wife when they won the 2013 World Series. That was pretty cool. And what has your relationship been like with both David Ortiz and Tory Hunter in the years since then? It's been fantastic. Two class acts, uh, very friendly to me, very nice to me. I've met a lot of chats with them. Excellent, excellent guys. Hall of Fame is both of them. Going back to 2013, what was so special about that team and the city that year? Well, after the bombings, it was hot on the city. You know, and the, winning the uh, World Series was just awesome. Just give everybody something to hope for and something to be cheerful. Last one for you. As we see the gentlemen below us here in the bullpen having a little fun with us, how much fun is it to have worked with them now for 25 years at Fenway Park? They've been great. The Red Sox are great. The, the fans, everyone here is great. The bullpen guys, uh, the, the crown crew, everyone. It's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. Officer, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Joe, back to you. All right, JP, great stuff. You know they have a, a Steve Horgan bobblehead <laughs> yes. they did here a while back? With, with the pose. Right. So I was here in four, 2014 when I played for the Red Sox. And still, he, whenever someone hits a home run for the Red Sox, he still does that pose. It, he always, for some reason, has his left hand closed and his right hand <laughs> open. And I asked him, you know, Officer Horgan, why do you do that? And he goes, I just didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands. So that's what he does now every time. Josh Rutledge leading off this inning against Verlander with a shot in the center for a base hit. Wonder if you can go back and find pictures from when he was a kid exclaiming if he had the <laughs> same thing. That's just kind of in his DNA. He is famous. I will. He said he's famous. JP said he's famous and he signs pictures out in the bullpen of that picture. That shot. See, there you go. The guy just gave that perfect time. Uh, but he had two open fists. He uh, needed to clench the left. That guy's not a true fan, right? Police officer made famous at Fenway is retiring. You may remember Officer Steve Horgan in the bullpen when he threw up his hands in excitement after David Ortiz hit the grand slam in a 2013 playoff game. Well, fans still line up to take selfies with the officer. The Globe reports a 33 year veteran will retire in January. He says he wants to take up. Baking. Fans still line up though to take selfies with him. He told the Globe he's taken about 25,000 in the last five years. Of course, I found him and I had to take a selfie. He was so nice. He literally just stands at Fenway Park with his arms up and people just rotate and stand next to him. Man, he should be getting paid or something for those pictures. Uh, yep, that's what he needs to do. Yeah. Uh